Hey guys, it's Robin uh, here at Be Fit. It's a, been a beautiful day today, cold and sunny here in Williamstown, and I'm thinking about golf, okay? So if you like to golf and you don't get paid to golf, that means you probably don't put a lot of time and energy into getting your body ready to swing that club and walk the course. So <clears throat> I had uh, one of my favorite clients in here today, He's got a little foot pain. He's got some tightness here. He's having trouble swinging, okay, uh, with his golf. He's not getting his turn. And if you're a golfer, you know you gotta get turned through your hips, and you've also gotta get a little more turn through your upper body. So this routine that I'm gonna show you would be fantastic for you to do every day. And honestly, whether you golf or not, this is a good routine, okay? So the reason I'm down on the ground is we're gonna take the foot out of the equation on this one. We're gonna get into the hips and we're gonna get into the shoulder. Well, I'm not down on the ground yet, but I will be in a second. All right, so I've just got myself a little, a little pad that I'm kneeling on here, okay? And I'm gonna put my phone down and we're gonna get started. So this is where we're gonna start. We're gonna take the feet out of the equation we're going to get your hips and your upper body moving. So we use a physio ball. You could just reach, but we feel, you're going to feel a lot more lengthening and stretching and all the good stuff that you need if you roll it along a ball. Okay? So I'm just going to go through a few repetitions of each of these moves today. <clears throat> but this is so helpful in getting your hips to do what they need to do and getting your trunk to do what they need to do, your upper body. Then I'm gonna take the ball in my other hand, I'm still kneeling, just take the ball in my other hand, slide it right along that, that ball, Ooh, get a good long stretch there. Just feels good. And like I said before, if you golf or you don't golf, this is gonna be a nice thing. Uh, particularly if you kind of struggle with some lower back pain, um, foot pain, things like that, okay? So now I've switched legs, and I'm going this way. If you feel like your shoulders are tight, if you're a little bit gunked up in one of your shoulders, this is a, this is a great little routine for you. So I'm just going to do a few repetitions. So I've got my left hand on there. I'm just pushing the ball over to the right. I'm going to switch it up now. Got my right hand on there. I'm pushing the ball over to like the left hand corner of the room. Just a nice diagonal. Okay? Now, that's good for a quick flexibility. I gotta grab a couple weights, I forgot to get them. And I'm back. Okay, gonna stay in that kneeling position, but we're gonna be wider, okay? So not straight in front but a nice wide stance, nice wide feeling there, okay? So now I'm, I've got eight pounders. You can use whatever you're comfortable with. If you don't wanna start with weights, you don't have to start with weights. But I'm gonna glide over in this direction here, okay? So I'm going toward my foot that's uh, on the floor. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm raising up here. I'm going here, I'm raising up here. Now when I was working with with my guy today, he has a tendency, which a lot of people do, to see how my elbows aren't straightening anymore, okay? So what we want is we want them to go all the way up straight, all the way up straight. That's gonna lift through your ribs <clears throat> and get some space going in there, which we all need. So as I go over toward my foot over here, I'm up with my left hand, I come back, I'm going up with the right hand, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and switch legs. Again, I'm going wide. I'm right here. Boom, boom. Big high reach. Going over toward my foot that's on the floor. Coming back. Don't forget to straighten those arms up over your head as much as you can. I'll just do one more on each side. Okay? That's it. All right? Now, the next one, the last thing that we're gonna do is a little thing we call foam rolling, okay? I'm a big believer in foam rolling. 
So I'm going to show you for your golf game. But again, also, if you don't play golf, if you sit a lot, if you have trouble with foot pain, with back pain, shoulder pain, this is going to be a good routine for you too. So I'm starting, I'm just sitting on the roll, okay? I'm going to get my camera here so we can zoom in a little bit if we need to. Okay, so I'm just sitting on the roll and I'm just going to start rolling on it, coming on back. So I'm only going to like the top of where my waistband would be. You don't want to get into your lumbar spine when you're foam rolling necessarily. You want to stay on where there's a little more uh, bony, uh, a little more structure, okay? So I'm just starting by rolling through my butt. I'll trace this way now so you can see that again. Just rolling through. I sit on it and I roll. Now, the next thing you do with foam rolling is you just shift your weight. Ooh, now I'm getting into my butt. Okay, there's a lot of muscles in there. Oh, we're going through the glutes. We're getting into some piriformis in there. Now, what I want you guys to really think about when if you're doing this is you don't have to hold it. You don't have to put your whole body weight on it. Keep it moving, okay? And if it's so tender that you're like, clenching and too much okay lighten it up and don't stay on the really sore spots I'm gonna shift over to my other side oh that's good if you want to give yourself a massage buy a foam roller all right so again going up through to right about where my waistband would be and then back through just shifting my weight all right, the next one that we're going to do here is it's like you're like if you're propped up to read something in bed. OK, uh, so it's right about the ladies. It's right by my bra strap. Men just kind of the middle of your back. OK, so we're going to start by bridging the hips up and just rolling through nice flat back, wide shoulders and just uh, going through that mid to upper back. Again, not the lumbar spine, not the lower back, the mid to upper back, okay? After I run through, it's nice and flat a few times. I'm making my back as broad as I can, my shoulders as broad as I can. Then I'm going to start to weight shift, and I'm going to get into those, those lat muscles, get into where my shoulder blade is, and you can see I'm just keeping my hips up and I'm rolling through. I'm going to go ahead and shift over, do this side a little bit. And again, you don't need to hold it. You want to keep it moving. All right. Now, if I want to get up by my neck, I just have to pick my hips up a little higher. And I can get on those muscles that get so tight when we're on the computer where people hold all that tension. Just got to lift your butt up a little higher, which is not a bad thing to have to do that. Buns of steel, okay? Now, the last one that I'm going to do is I'm going to be on my side. And I'm just going to roll through. Kind of like, <clears throat> I'm not like in my armpit necessarily. I'm kind of like on the back side of it. So right where my, my shoulder blade is, my scapula, this is a really tight area on a lot of people. But this is super helpful to loosen that up. Okay. And I'm not going to hold it because that would hurt. And it just would make me tense up. So don't do that. So just keep it moving. All right. We'll go ahead and do the other side. Right through here. And I kind of like... I might kick my hips up a little bit if I want to get a little more pressure on there, but it's almost like you're inchworming across the floor like that, like that, okay? That's how I'm getting that motion. It's like an inchworm. Okay, guys. So, 
Let me know what you think of that because I'm thinking about doing a whole series on getting ready for golf and what you can do preseason, what you can do during the season. Um, that would be an online course that I'm thinking about creating. So if you're interested in that, shoot me a little comment down here. Uh, I'll be putting more info out about that, but uh, if that's something that you'd be interested in, just shout it out there in the comments and let me know. All right, later.